for duplication glitch, what you're gonna need is this right here. You need explosive bait, and you need to craft roughly 500 explosive bait. I am going to craft quite a few of that. How much do I have here? I have 426. Okay, that's not enough bait. But one of my friends here has some more bait. So, you, in order to do this, you need 500 explosive bait. If you have less than that, it won't work as efficiently. You only need to give me like 80. I guess 111 will do too. Alright, so now you need to go down to the foundation here. Foundation, you want to come all the way over here. And there's a specific room you want to toss this bait in. You want to come all the way over here. And you want to toss the bait into this room right here. So I'm going to drop some of these people here some bait so they can help me drop it quicker. Here, take that. And if you have your gun out like this, and if you're in first person and you time it right, you can toss them really fast. So after you are done tossing all of the explosive bait, what you want to do is just fast travel away to somewhere away from other players, so that way there's no one in your render distance. I usually duplicate power armor over here, so I'm going to be fast traveling over here. Add it to the spot where you want to dupe. You want to put down whatever power armor you want to duplicate. Right now I'm using this power armor right here. Then what you want to do is you want to get in the power armor and halfway and halfway through the animation you want to immediately close your application so I'm going to try to pull that off right now all right and now that you've loaded back into the server what you want to do is walk over to the place where you had your power armor down and now you should have two exact sets of the power armor the one that you're wearing and the one on the ground now there's a little bit of a glitch or not really a glitch, there's a measure in place Bethesda has to remove duplicated power armor. This is called power armor merging. If you have two of the exact same power armor sets, it will eventually merge the pieces and it'll remove certain pieces from your inventory. In order to stop this from happening, what you want to do is you want to place down a power armor workbench, which I'm going to pull out right here. And you want to put a different paint on the power armor. If you have different paints across all of your duplicated sets... Where'd the set go? There it is. That was a bit goofy right there. If you have different paints on your power armor, they will not merge. So you'll have your sets and Bethesda won't be able to delete them. I'm just going to put this paint on all these pieces here. Alright, now I have this extra one set right here. I'm going to rename this something like uh, PSA X01 2. So I know that that's my second set. And I'm going to take this set now, which is the exact same set. I'm going to get in this. And also, when you get in this, make sure to throw away your fusion cores. 
so sometimes they will bug out and as you see I now have two sets right here and just to make sure that this definitely works you see right here I have two armor sets right here right there's one XO1 set here's the other one I'm gonna come over here on the top toss my stash box down onto the ground if I can find it there it is just to show you I have no other XO1 sets in my stash box except for uh this one down here which this isn't even legendary this is an old set I had years ago and just to show you that this definitely works I'm going to do it again so I'm going to toss this set back down onto the ground again and actually you can also use this to trade untradeable power armors like the paint here you can use it to trade the paint you can use it to trade stuff like Strangler Heart, Hellcat, Union Power Armor, anything like that. I'm going to do the dupe glitch again with this here uh, painted power armor just to show you it's definitely tradable. So again, what you want to do is you want to get in the power armor, then halfway through the animation, you want to close application. So you want to do this. Put the fusion core back in it. Now, so now that I've loaded back into the server, you can see that I was wearing the set that I just duplicated. And now it is also all the way over here where I had it last. And you see that it doesn't have the collect button on it. This means that it is fully tradable. Now I'm going to have one of my friends, Mega Nerdy, are you in the server? Come over here and grab the set of X01. There you go, now get into it. There you go, and right there is proof that you can trade on tradable sets using this power armor duplication glitch. And I got the exact same set right here. Alright, now I am going to record it from the third person point of view. I'm going to watch as Mega duplicates his power armor, so Mega... Can you demonstrate? Yep. Alright, you closed application, right? Alright, so he has closed application. You can say you can see that the power armor here has sticked around. Now I can't actually loot this power armor. And that's because you have to. You have, then that's because you have to go out of render distance, and you have to come back into render distance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast travel away, and I'm going to fast travel back, and you can see that I'll be able to loot it. I'm going to just fast travel all the way up to Vault 76 here, then I'm going to fast travel back. All right, now that I fast traveled back to my camp, I'm going to come over here, and you can see that I can now loot this power armor here. You can see it was Strangleheart which is actually completely untradeable or supposed to be completely untradeable has all these pieces on it now Mega, are you going to come pick the setup or not? because I don't want it alright I'll just run it I'll, I'm just going to run it through the script machine Remember when I explained to you what power armor merging is, I'm going to demonstrate what power armor merging is and how to fix it. So I'm going to plop this down right here. I'm going to swap the paint back to normal. All right, I have all the paint right here returned back to normal. I'm going to pick this set up. I'm going to pick this set up. They both have the same exact mod, so they're the same exact duplicated power armor set. Now that I place that one down, and I place this one down, you see some of the pieces have actually disappeared. This is because they're merging. 
Right here you can see there's no X01 pieces in my entire inventory. And I'm gonna pick these up. And you can see. Now I'm gonna plop these back down. You can see that the pieces are still missing. Now there is a way around this. What you want to do is take all the pieces off of the chassis. And you want to put them all back onto the chassis. And they will unmerge themselves. You might have to press X on the pieces a few times to get them to unmerge. Now I have one full set right there. And I have one full set right here, and I'm going to actually swap one of the paints on them back to normal. And you can see that these time sets are no longer merging. They're staying as full sets. And that would conclude this video for how to duplicate power armor. I am hoping that Bethesda patches this because it's been open, it's been active for over a year now.